Hello explorers, welcome back to another exciting video and thanks for watching. In this video we are taking you to a journey to discover how Kigali became the cleanest city in Africa. At first glimpse, Rwanda's capital is a model African country. Clean, organized, beautiful. But Kigali hasn't always been the cleanest city in Africa. A lot of restructuring and planning was put to give the city its current status. Before we dive into how the city became the Singapore of Africa, let's quickly take a look at the origin of the city. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Kigali is the capital and largest city of Rwanda. It is near the nation's geographic center. The city has been Rwanda's economic, cultural, and transport hub since it became the capital at independence in 1962. The city of Kigali was founded in 1907 by German administrator and explorer Richard Kent. Rwanda and neighboring Burundi had been assigned to Germany by the Berlin Conference of 1884. Germany established the presence in the country in 1897 with the formation of an alliance with the king, Yuhi the Fid Musinga. Kent arrived in 1899 exploring Lake Kivu and searching for the source of the River Nile. When Germany decided in 1907 to separate the administration of Rwanda from that of Burundi, Kent was appointed as the country's first resident. He chose to make his headquarters in Kigali due to its central location in the country and also because the area afforded good views and security. Kent built himself a house in Nyarungenge, the first European-style house in the city of Kigali, which remains in use today as the Kent House Museum of National History. Despite a German ordinance written in 1905 which prohibited non-indigenous natives from entering Rwanda, Kent began permitting the entry of Indian traders in 1908, which allowed commercial activity to begin in Rwanda in 1908. The first businesses were established in Kigali that year by Greek and Indian merchants with assistance from Baganda and Swahili people. Items traded included clothes and beads. However, commercial activity was limited and there were only around 30 firms in the city around 1914. Kent also opened government-run schools in Kigali, which began educating Tutsi students. Kigali became the capital upon Rwanda's independence in 1962. Butari, a prominent city in Rwanda at the time, was initially the leading contender to be the capital of the new independent nation, but Kigali was chosen because of its more central location. The city grew slowly during the following decades, but retained a small town feel with just 25,000 people and five paved roads by the early 1970s. During the 1994 Rwandan genocide, the few infrastructural development that had started in Kigali were halted and a lot of properties were destroyed. Prior to becoming the president of Rwanda, Pastor Bizumungu, who was the then president of Rwanda, had already begun the reconstruction of the city of Kigali before his resignation. When Paul Kagame took over as the president of Rwanda in the year 2000, everything changed in Kigali. Now let's look at how Kigali actually became the cleanest city in Africa. When Paul Kagame took over as president of Rwanda, he introduced a strategic development plan for the country in general and Kigali in particular. In 2009, Kigali's leaders decided to start demolishing slums in the capital's poor suburbs, especially those with little access to piped water and electricity and replaced them with new roads and homes. Families whose homes got demolished got a compensation of $1,500 to $2,000 to help them settle in. The move was a first step in what has turned into an ambitious master plan to clean up the city of Kigali. One that has led to the city being hailed as one of the greenest and cleanest cities in Africa. In 2002, as part of the campaign by the World Health Organization to reduce air pollution and destruction of the ecosystem caused mainly by plastic bags, Several nations were called upon to take stringent measures with regards to the production and usage of plastic bags in their countries. In 2002, Rwanda was the first country in Africa and second in the world after Bangladesh to ban the production and importation of plastic bags. Rwanda has zero tolerance towards plastic bags and traffickers caught carrying illegal plastic bags in Rwanda are liable to be fined, jailed for up to six months or forced to make public confessions. The banning of plastic bags in Rwanda greatly improved the hygienic condition of the city as most of the streets of Kigali became plastic bag free. 
In 2013, municipal authorities drew up a master plan to improve the city's environment while also trying to promote social inclusion, sustainable economic development and access to civic facilities. One main focus was traffic congestion. To try to alleviate it, the Rwandan government spent $76 million to pave narrow streets, widen all main roads to dwell carriageways and improve signs. It also upgraded bus services between the suburbs and the city center to encourage people to use public transport. Also, the government committed nearly $40 million to relocate several dozen factories in the former wetlands industrial area to a newly established special economic zone. Hawkers and street vendors were prohibited and defaulters were sanctioned. Initially, a lot of Rwandans were resistant to these new laws about street hawking but later realized the goal of the law. Another pertinent reason why Rwanda became extremely clean was the introduction of the Umuganda, a community cleanup campaign held on the last Saturday of every month. The cleanup campaign is not a volunteer project, it's an obligation and is closely monitored by forces of law and order. During the Umuganda, everyone, including the president and expatriates, joined in cleaning the streets and watering plants. What do you expect from a country where its president joins in the cleaning of the streets? Perfect, right? Another reason why Kigali is so beautiful and clean is because it's the administrative hub and residence of the president of Rwanda. Some of the country's richest people and expatriates live in Kigali. As a result, a lot of effort and hard work goes into making the city look clean and beautiful. Now let's talk about Kigali the green city. Rwanda is working on a green city in Kigali city. The plan is to have the 2.3 square miles allocated to efficient factories, sustainable housing and green cars. According to the African Exponent, the project is estimated to cost $5 billion. A project of this scale considers many factors. The Rwandan Green City Pilot Project covers every environmental concern and is created in a sustainable way. The project has developed its own pillars of green urbanism that the project follows and can be easily piloted in other cities. The green city will have all the infrastructure and services of the city, but each part will be eco-friendly. Electric vehicles, bicycle lanes, biogas, forest, environmental waste treatment are all part of the city planning process and will be part of the final city. The government hopes the city will lead to job creation, improved sanitation and public transport access. There are two main projects happening on the site. The first, Cactu Green Park, is a 410 house development that meets environmental standards. This will be a pilot for other urban planning green building projects. Second, green affordable housing will be added to the city. Future phases will include green offices and commercial buildings. As part of the pilot, the project will track the metrics it's developed. Key metrics include voided carbon dioxide emission and green jobs created. Kigali has a new mayor, Prudence Rubingiza. In an interview in September 2019, he spoke about the need for a green city and has this to say, now why do we need green development? This will help cope up not only with the climate change issue, but also with the urbanization that is really affecting the city in a way. That is why we need to start thinking of a green city and the key factors include all Rwandans being or having that environmental responsibility and understanding. We need to utilize land property, be innovative and use less polluting materials. Although there's a lot of controversy around Paul Kagame's leadership, Rwanda under Paul Kagame has become one of the most prominent and emerging countries in Africa. Kigali, its capital city, has become the pride of Africa when it comes to hygiene and sanitation and will remain the cleaner city in Africa for a long time to come. Dear Displorers, we would like to know, which African city is your favorite and why? Leave your responses in the comment section below and the best comment will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your request in the comment section below and we'll do our best to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.